So hi everyone, I think my hair needs some treatment right now and I'm going to show you like a little trick or treatment that you can do at home and it's that simple. It's basically some things that you can get from your kitchen and you don't have to go to any um, you know salon near you to do some treatment in your hair when it's like kind of dry and then when you put this on your hair it like your hair becomes really beautiful my in my shirt luster and all that and all the nutrients that this ingredients that I'm going to show you continuing and I continue they have like nourishing ingredients and things like that that only nature can give your hair so right now I'm going to show you this uh, honey and this is one of the ingredients that we're going to use to this um hair mat um, there's the honey and, and I don't know if you can see but it has like a little honeycomb inside and that's awesome. What else? We're going to use a half of banana. We're going to use an egg. We're also going to use um, half, half, half of um, avocado, sorry. And we're going to use um, extra virgin oil. It has to be extra virgin oil. I'm going to use some buttermilk. Yeah. And we're going to put that on the hair and just put this um on the hair and leave it on your hair for um 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, you have to go to the bathroom and wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner. But use more than unusual so the ingredients that we're going to use don't matter with the um, unpleasant scent on your hair so yeah wash your hair with a lot of shampoo and conditioner if you want to repeat the step uh, washing your hair two times to this occasion you can do that so what we're going to do is we're going to use like this simple um, um, this simple plate and a spoon and we're going to mix it but first of all we have to put that rip the banana put it inside Spray the egg, also put it inside. For the buttermilk, we are going to use like a dumb little bit of buttermilk and put it inside. We're going to use like a half of um, avocado. Also rip the avocado and put it inside. We want to use the honey. You can use whatever honey you like, organic, whatever you like, and put like a bit of honey on your hair. Also, the honey nourishes your hair. It has like a lot of nourish. It's really good for um like any products you do in Haname or if you do your products do it yourself. It's awesome and tastes great too so let me show you right here is the ingredients and this is what we're going to do sorry I cannot show you what I'm doing but basically you know that I'm missing all the ingredients together I have to like buy a better camera and basically the avocado and the banana like they hard so you have to squish them like little pieces uh, i prefer for you to have like the avocado to be really 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 soft because when the avocado is really hard it's so hard to squish so yeah i'm going to do like a little paste it's kind of weird that this has eggs inside but since history like women when they do do yourself things at home like they put some eggs inside and that's normal. Yeah, like, yeah, make sure that the avocado when you do this at home is really, really soft because when it's really hard and it's really hard to squish. So you have to squish on the ingredients until there's a paste or a mix. This is like um, do it yourself um, mix. I plan to do this some more, so I'm planning to get a better camera, like a recording camera, because this just can't. And it's so hard for me to show you, show you the steps, so that's bad too. 
So let me do the thing. And make sure because like push all the ingredients. It's gonna get messy, but after doing this, you have to go to the bathroom and take a shower, so it doesn't really matter. And let me do the pictures. Mix, mix onto this like a piece. Mix all the ingredients together. So I'm taking too hard, too, too, so I'm taking too long, but it's so hard for me to like do this. But I try to do my best on this. Because I want to show you like something that you can do at home and put it on your hair. So yeah. And you can find these recipes and other recipes for hair masks at when you go to your computer, go to Google and find homemade hair masks. There you will find recipes and it's also great for you to know. So yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to like make a little paste. show you this but hold on. and getting so messy too so if you're going to do this at home I'm like just all pretty because I had to do this video in front of camera right? and maybe a lot of people will see this so I have to be dressed but if you're going to do this at home you need to like put something that you're not wearing or something like you're not going to wear outside so you don't get um um mess or something you need to wear something dark or something that you don't use so yeah because you're gonna get really really messy make sure all the ingredients are like making the like, I think you got to do this on the, um, where is it called? The blender? But, oh, well. Maybe for next time, do one in the blender. Let me see. I think this space is good. I don't know. You can see it's like a, um, green paste. I hope you can see. So let, let me put the ingredients in that and um, then I'm going to show you how to put it on, on your hair. So yeah, let me see. So yeah, we got the space right here. It's like a ring paste and I'm going to show you what to, you have to do. Yeah, since this, you're going to put some on your palm and put it on your hair. Like when you do to wash your hair, you just put it on your hair like this. Just like when you put your shampoo on, but this is like a conditioner that you're going to leave like for 30 minutes in your hair. So yeah. Just put it on your hair after you do the paste. Sorry, it's kind of weird, but I think it's a great tip for you to know. Just put it on your hair, like from the tips to the roots like this like you will do if you putting on conditioner just the same and doing the same thing like when you're washing your hair you know what I mean what I'm doing right now but it don't forget the back too put it some on the back put your hair like this and put some on the back of your hair Make sure you use all the paste so you get all the benefits from it. Yeah, so you see my, my hair, I put it on, my hair's like kind of, um, kind of moisturized, I don't know. But yeah, sorry I cannot show you the after video because my, 
my thing from like where I at least my videos don't doesn't work. I don't know why, but you will know when you try it at home and you wash your hair. But I recommend that you use a lot of shampoo and a lot of conditioner this time. So this thing that you do in your hair, so it doesn't smell like, like it. So it does just smell like your conditioner. But like people notice the difference because these ingredients that I'm using right now has a lot of benefits and they are natural ingredients. So yeah, they doesn't have any chemicals and that's also great and useful for every guru or girls here to know. So yeah. So yeah, make sure you, you use all of it. So yeah. This is building oil. So if you want to put like um, on your hair too, like this, use that. Just do that. And make, sh make sure you use a lot of shampoo and conditioner because it's going to smell like you using um, virgin oil, olive oil. Honey, honey is tasty, but uh, other ingredients like, um, like um, buttermilk and avocado and the other ingredients that we use also egg is, doesn't smell pleasant. So be sure you use a lot of shampoo and conditioner when you wash, do wash your hair. So yeah, make sure you use all things and cover all your hair from the tips to the roots and do like this, this like massage your hair like this so it gets all the goodies from this. And if you want to use an uh, extra honey on your hair, you can because um, honey has a lot of benefits, nourishes, you know. on your hair. Make sure you massage all your hair. Like this. Use all the things to get all the benefits. I think that's good. So use a cap or you also can use a plastic bag in my cap. This is my favorite. It has some flowers on it and it's so cute. So we're going to do this, putting your hair like this, then like this, and you put it the cap on. I know it looks kind of ugly, but I'm just showing you this. So yeah. Do this and leave your hair like this for 30 minutes. Then use the usual thing that you do with shampoo and conditioner. And use more than, than usual. And use the difference after. 